I'll, I'll maybe uh, posit something here. And I, I know there's been a couple of other people that have talked about this recently is, is there even such a thing as an entry level cybersecurity person, right? Yeah. It's I've, I've joked in the past that this is like saying, I want to be an entry level surgeon uh, there. You just can't do it, right? Like you have to go, even if you go to like for your medical degree, you have to go do some sort of residency. You have to do some sort of specialization. You have to get hands-on experience doing the work before you can say you're a surgeon, right? So I, I, I compare this to a sort of a medical field where cybersecurity is, it, it's the pinnacle, right? It may come from many different backgrounds, whether you're a developer that's focused on secure coding, whether you're a system administrator that's focused on securing systems, whether you're a network administrator that's focused on network security, uh, or even a, like a compliance person who's focused on policy and law and privacy, those people, all those backgrounds feed up into cybersecurity really well. And to your point, right, like coming from law enforcement, there's amazing crossover in the law enforcement and public safety aspect, uh, the report writing, the, the protection of the public, like there's a lot of really cool stuff that goes on there uh, that feeds up really well into cybersecurity. But it's really hard to get that experience just going through a four-year degree program or a two-year degree program and expecting to just go immediately into a job. It's, it's funny you say that, Ryan, and I don't know if you recall this, 